I think on that that I would say. Senator Dirksen on the line. Everett. Yes, sir. What have you said about uh, having an, a bipartisan conference through the newspaper? Yeah. You say, what have I yeah. said? Yeah, they, uh, all of them are calling me on the phone uh, <laughs> well, like we got another crisis. And I thought we uh, came out to the hospital the other day, and I explained to you every damn thing in the world we knew. Now, Rusk is overseas. I told you, any time you wanted to, put on your hat and come down here. Yeah. I, I, I have our leaders in. I met with all of them yesterday, and I'd be glad to have you, uh, anybody you want to bring with you this afternoon or tonight or any time. But this ought to be, we got 120 nations uh, watching us, and yeah. uh, I don't think we serve much good by by trying these cases in the newspaper, even if it is election year. Well, Mr. President, uh, I don't think of me coming down or Ford coming down. Or anybody you want to bring, if you if you feel the need of any conference, uh, uh, as I told you on the phone the other day and as I told you when I saw you, yeah. uh, I'm ready any day to meet you any time and to discuss with you anything you want to know. I have, every time we have a significant thing, I have them fully briefed. I had Rusk, when he returned, to go to the House and invite everybody. I had him go to the Senate and invite everybody. I personally reviewed it with our people. I talked to you about it. I want uh, Rusk is aboard broad now. He will be back on Friday night. I had anticipated that I would try to go through a briefing with the uh, with uh, the members of the Congress at a little later time after he got back, yeah. and after the thing was a little bit clearer yeah. uh, out uh, out uh, there. But uh, if you have any feeling of need for information, my God, you know that you can get anything from me without going through Jack Bell. Well, now we looked up the date, and I think the last really formal conference we had well, was on the 24th of February. Well, do we want formal conferences? I told you the other day, if you want a formal conference for the purpose of, uh, of that, I was pretty formal and, uh, when I came out to see you, when I sent Rusk up to see his speaker in his office, when I sent him up to uh, see Mansfield and your people uh, just uh, 10 days ago. But I don't think, Mr. President, you could pick out an individual or two individuals. I don't want to pick out an individual. I pick out, I let you pick out whoever you want. Well, I have picked out, you see, I don't. I doubt that anybody has had as many people down here for as long to brief them as I have. I've had every member of the Senate this year. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Every single damn one of them has been invited to come for two hours. Now, uh, I've had the leadership. I have a regular leadership meeting with my people every week. Yeah. I don't recall of ever cut being called into a leadership meeting of other presidents except on foreign aid. Yeah. Foster Dulles on the Ben Ben Pew thing called us over to the State Department. Yeah. But the President of the United States, in my record, my diary show that he called me primarily on foreign aid with Passman. Yeah. But uh, uh, I have uh, I have had regular meetings with him, with every member of the House and every member of the Senate, and I'm ready to. And if you want to assemble a group of Republicans or Democrats, I just had Rusk up there before he left. Yeah. One of the last things he did yeah. in preparing to go to NATO was to go up and spend a couple of hours with the Speaker and everybody on the House side. But I think the invitation would have to come from you, not to, from us, because... Well, I, uh, I have nothing that I need to uh, impart to you at this time with my Secretary of State over debating uh, our problems with NATO. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, he was just having gone and briefed both sides before he left. Yeah, no. Yeah. You weren't there. You were sick. But he, he spent a good deal of time with uh, with every member, armed services, foreign relations, yeah. leadership, at my direct instruction, just before he went to Europe. Yeah. Now, of course, that is one thing. Now, do you remember Eisenhower ever doing that? Eisenhower never had me on when I was leader for six years under him. He had me on Passman's aid problems two or three times. Yeah. But not one time did he ever conduct a briefing for every member of the Senate. But we didn't have a situation like we got today. Oh, the hell, you had lots of situations. You you had the beginning of this situation that well, we got I, today. I you had uh, Formosa, you had uh, Lebanon, you had, uh, uh, he turned around on his way to uh, to Japan and came back. Yeah. Uh, we had lots of situations, uh, uh, but he just didn't do it in the paper. And I, I want, if you want to bring somebody down here and see them and have a formal meeting and have pictures made, uh, I'm for 
Great. I, I, I sure want to do what you want done. I just uh, uh, thought the other day when I called you and told you that, that uh, you felt there wasn't any need for it. Yeah. That's what you said to me. Well, uh, I couldn't speak for everybody else, but there seemed to be a, uh, an estimate that, that it, there is a clear need for it now to be brought up to date as to what is going on. Well, don't you think it would be a very desirable thing to at least uh, communicate that to me before the... If you're going to change your mind uh, uh, before it gets on the wires and the press people go to asking about about it, do you think it's good for our country, for me and you to be divided and the Secretary of State to be abroad? Yeah, but we're not divided, my friend. Well, I sure you hope can, not, but that's the, way, you. that's the way they appear. What they say to me, as you see, yeah. the last week Dirksen said we needed a meeting, and then you talked to Dirksen, and Dirksen said we didn't need a meeting, and now Dirksen says today that there's a crisis of confidence. Now, uh, I didn't use that term, uh, but uh, I thought a meeting would be useful, and I have made my last pitch now on that. Well, now, you just take this. Uh, a meeting is useful any time. If you'll tell me who you want, I'll have them the moment the Secretary of State gets back here. Yeah. In the absence of your telling me who you want, you don't need you. you you've never been modest or shy about uh, making recommendations to me. We know each other pretty well. Oh, that's right. And uh, uh, let's stay out of these damn newspapers on foreign policy. If we, we have to get into it uh, uh, on these other things, all right. But we do have a, a good many critical things. And I, I don't, they're trying to win in Washington what they can't win out there. And uh, I don't want them to think that uh, that uh, uh, my strong right arm, like you, is out here taking the position that uh, uh, you haven't had enough meetings. Hell, I just uh, I drove out to hospital for the purpose the other day. Then when I got through seeing you, I drove out to see Mike. I don't know any president that's tried to tail up his people more. Well, I, I try to keep on, on the waters, and uh, I'm not going to harass you about it. Well, why don't you do this? If you, I haven't seen your statement. All I know is what the papers are saying. But, uh, uh, and I'd have thought you'd call me. Why don't you just tell me who you'd like to see down here, and as soon as Secretary of State gets back, I'll call him. Otherwise, I'll just uh, I'll go on and handle it like I normally do uh, by uh, inviting the various groups to come at the various times and, and let each ask questions. Let me examine this situation. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's stay out of the papers, too, Everett, on yeah. this. This doesn't... Imagine uh, Tri Kwong reading there this morning that we've got uh, the minority leaders calling for a meeting immediately to try to settle this thing in this country. We don't need that. That doesn't do a damn bit of good. The part we're seeking is orientation. That's right. Well, uh, you can get that by picking up the phone. Okay.